Okay, happy to see you here on my channel Higher Mathematics. Really interesting challenge today. We need to simplify this expression. We have square root of 11 minus 4 square root of 7. And on the first side, we cannot simplify this because we, we don't have like what to what to cancel right here, what to what to subtract, what to add. We have square root right here. We have 11, so we cannot subtract it. We cannot take square root, apply square root sign right here. So we need to find a really great trick. And in this video, I'm going to show this really great trick. But first of all, look at this expression. So, for example, imagine you have square root of a square. Just imagine you have this expression. And if you apply square root, you can cancel this square root sign with this square and you have like absolute value of a. Okay, this is the main rule that really helps in this video for us. So, square root and a square sign right here, we cancel this expression and we have only absolute value. So, saying in other words, let's try to create a square root of this expression. So, 11 minus 4 square root of 7. Let's look at it. So, 11 minus 4 square root of 7. Let's look at this expression. So, I suggest you to look at this trick. So, 11 let's write as 4 plus 7, okay? So, right here 11 let's write as, as 4 and right here we have plus 7, okay? Plus 7 and let's write this expression in the middle, minus 4 square root of 7, minus 4 square root of 7, okay? Let's look at it. I just write this 11 as 4 plus 7, so nothing changed for us, yeah? But if you look closely, let's write this 4 as 2 times 2, okay? So, we have like we have like 4 minus 2 times 2 times square root of 7 and plus 7, okay? So, let's write it in this way. And right now, if we look uh, at this formula, a square minus uh, 2ab, for example, minus 2ab and plus b square, if we look at this formula, uh, this is equal to a minus b to the second power, okay, square. And right now, let's look closely to this formula and to this expression that we have right here. So, let's look at it. So, this is a square, this is our a, this is our b, and this is our b square. This is really great because right here we create this formula. We have like uh, a equal to 2, yeah, a equal to 2, and b equal to b equal to square root of 7, okay? B equal to square root of 7. Let's look at it. So we have a square, we have 4, we have minus 2, we have this 2, we have a 2, we have b square root of 7, and we have plus b square. And right now we can easily write this expression as, so we can write this expression as a minus b square, 2 minus square root of 7. So 2 minus square root of 7 square, okay? And let's go back to this explanation right here. So if we have square root of of something that is in the second power, we will have the same. We have this expression square root of two minus square root of seven. And as I told before, we cancel this square root and these two, and we have absolute value of a, which is equal to absolute value of two minus square root of two minus square root of seven. So we hope you understand my thought about it. I hope you understand this trick because this is maybe the most uh, hard trick right here because we need to create this square root with two, with two steps. So 4 plus 7 equal to 11. So the first step, write it on, on both sides right here. And then you, can, you need to see this uh, formula a square minus 2ab plus b square. Okay, this is the main thing right here. So let's let's simplify this uh, final answer. We have absolute value of two minus square root of seven. Now we need to know what is the value of this uh, expression. So two is equal to so square root of seven is greater than two. Okay, this is maybe obvious because uh, because square root of four equal to two equal to yeah, but square root of seven will be greater than two. So we have like uh, we need to put a minus before our absolute value. So we have minus. 2 minus square root of 7, which is equal to square root of 7 minus 2. So this is my solution to this question. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learn something new. So square root of 7 minus 2. This is our our final answer to this question. So I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos and wish you all the best.